find the minimal polynomial of m equal to this is the given matrix now when you look at this matrix it is block diagonal matrix this is block diagonal matrix that is because here when we split this matrix into different blocks we can see that only diagonal blocks are non zero rest all blocks are zero hence it is a block diagonal matrix now here the diagonal blocks are these 2502423 and 7 that is i will name them as a1 equal to 2502 a2 equal to 4 2 3 5 and a3 equal to the block 7 so i want the minimal polynomial of matrix m minimal polynomial of m equal to lcm of m1 of t comma m2 of t m3 of t where m1 m2 m3 are minimal polynomials of a1 a2 a3 respectively let us see how to find out the minimal polynomials of individual blocks so let me find out the characteristic polynomial first delta 1 of t is t square minus trace of a1 trace means sum of diagonal elements 2 plus 2 it is 4t plus determinant of a1 2 to the 4 so it is t minus 2 whole square this is the characteristic polynomial of a1 similarly characteristic polynomial of a2 is t square minus trace of a2 5 plus 4 90 plus determinant of a2 5 for the 20 minus 3 to the 6 20 minus 6 is 40 so let us factorize this 70 minus 2t plus 14 because 7 to the 14 minus 7 minus 2 is minus 9 t minus 7 into t minus 2 okay this is the characteristic polynomial of a2 similarly characteristic polynomial of a3 this is uh, this can be written directly t minus 7 because it is a 1 by 1 matrix now if you want characteristic polynomial of m which is not asked but still if you want characteristic polynomial of m then it is the product of the characteristic polynomials of diagonal blocks so we will get here this is t minus 2 whole square into t minus 7 into t minus 2 into t minus 7 which gives you t minus 7 whole square into t minus 2 whole cube now they have asked you minimal polynomial of this matrix m so let us find out minimal polynomial of a1 minimal polynomial of a2 and minimal polynomial of a3 minimal polynomial means it is the lowest po uh, degree monic polynomial which has this matrix m as its root m means here in this case a3 in this case a2 in this case a1 has its root so minimal polynomial of a3 means it is the monic polynomial of lowest degree which has a3 as its root that if you substitute a3 into that polynomial it has to satisfy it should be equal to 0 it should be the root of that polynomial so let us three uh, let us see what is the minimal polynomial of a3 that is m3 of t is here as a characteristic polynomial has only the linear factor hence the minimal polynomial and characteristic polynomial both are same in this case also it has only linear factors then characteristic polynomial and minimal polynomial same because every minimal polynomial divides the characteristic polynomial so whenever any characteristic polynomial has the linear factors then those linear factors must be there in the minimal polynomial as it contains only linear factors these two will come into characteristic polynomial but in this case m1 of t linear factors there are two possibilities one is here m1 of t is equal to t minus 2 or m1 of t is equal to t minus 2 whole square these are the two possibilities for the the minimal polynomial because t minus 2 is linear factor that should be there and one more possibility is t minus 2 whole square because t minus 2 divides t minus 2 whole square t minus 2 whole square also divides 
2 d minus 2 whole square. Now, out of these two, you have to select that monic polynomial of lowest degree for which a1 is a root. So, you have to check is a1 minus 2i is it equal to 0. This you have to check. You can clearly say a1 is 2502 minus 2i is 2002 which is not equal to 0 because uh, 5 minus 0 it gives you 0500 matrix. Therefore, this can be the minimal polynomial. The remaining is you can check with this. Remaining is this which uh, satisfies a1 minus 2i whole square equal to 0. Hence, m1 of t is t minus 2 whole square. This is how we find the minimal polynomial. In these two, there was no problem because they contain only the linear factor. But here, along with the linear factor, there is one quadratic factor. So, we have to write the possibilities, then check out which possibility will not satisfy. Therefore, now minimal polynomial of M, the given matrix is LCM of minimal polynomial of A1 t minus 2 whole square comma t minus 7 into t minus 2 comma t minus 7. So, this gives you LCM of these values is nothing but t minus 2 whole square into t minus 7. This is the minimal polynomial of given block diagonal matrix M. Yeah.